using the first two headings. So body canvas approach, just, just for brief information, is hands-on activity. People do not invest by doing like hover the highest So the fourth one. The fourth way of learning is spatial. Spatial are people who learn by art. Who are really good and talented in art. Are you good at talented in art? Let me know in the comments section below. Anyways, the fifth, the fifth way of learning is musical. Right, Leon? Yeah. Musical. Anyways, people who who are really good in music or really talented in singing, dancing and other things other things that other things that you do music. And the last two ones are interpersonal are people who are self-motivated and well aware of their own of their own feelings. Like like me. I'm well aware of my own feelings and I'm self-motivated. But I also um, I'm also the first interpersonal which likes speaking from the big crowd and audience. Because that makes me shine and I'm I'm wondering, are you a, are you are you someone who is personal? Anyways, now we're going to be talking about the last one, which is called intrapersonal. Intrapersonal are people who are well aware of the feelings and they're mostly shy, they don't really like to speak in a big audience because they feel like once they make a mistake, they're they're really afraid of mistakes and they live in terror because of their mistakes. So please don't judge them, it's just a way of learning. Now that we know the seven different ways of learning, we we care, we as parents need to encourage our child we need to encourage them what we need to learn. Encourage their source of income, their source of interest. Like for example, they're really good at sports, but they have bad grades. We need to encourage them to be better at sports because whatever you have, because there's a famous quote that says, want to follow your passion, if you did. I really want to retaliate and I want I really want to encourage parents to encourage the children so they can follow their passion because it starts from a young age. Like people who be good at uh, academic people can be good academically but they also have an extra passion. For example my brother is really good at academically, really good at maths but but he has a passion in football that's why he sent him to a football academy. And also, I am really good at academically, but I also have my own passion, which is coding. Because I am fighting for it. So, anyways, we're going to leave that behind. And now, we, now we have, I know that you have a question that might be, what does education, how does education make you rich? Now, you might be wondering how education can make you rich. Well, let me tell you something. Educate money is just an idea, and the people who are poor just have poor ideas. So, if you are academically smart, it doesn't make you. It doesn't mean that you succeed in math. Uh, just because you have a high IQ doesn't mean that you should stop learning. No, because if you stop learning, you be you might be smart today, but you become really dumb tomorrow because you have to increase your abilities. Of you. You have to increase your abilities to learn. You just need to have the right mindset to make you succeed. Like for example, for example, SpaceX. Who who thought of the idea of SpaceX? SpaceX was an idea from Elon Musk that got him a lot of money. It was yeah. just it all started from an idea. An idea can change people's lives. Reading books can Reading books and being research and doing research can make you informative, which which is another way why which is another way of how you can be successful successful in math. Also, no, 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 right now we're coming to the end of this book. Um, this is the end of part one.
Yeah. So I'm going to be crafting yeah. the, what we've learned so far. We have learned, we have learned seven different geniuses or or intelligences. And we've also learned how to identify yourself and how to encourage yourself. Now thank you for thank you for watching this video. Now that was for that was Lewis and Leon from Lucky Siblings TV. See you next time. Bye bye.